birthday. It was an entire team effort. And in this game five, they really had to dig deep. You heard the question asked about the final fight. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried when my top Very player carefully died. Uh, but, yeah. we, but we found our opening. Let's relive uh, some of the highlights of this game five, how it broke down to be that reverse sweep. Zeka as well, a name we haven't mentioned yet since the conclusion of the series. He put up a massive game five performance. I loved Vedius's line with all of the scrutiny that Zek has gotten for his champion pool. What are you going to do when he does get his champions? Akali versus Silas matchup, his two best champions. And it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, you win by one energy not being there for the Akali. He gets that first blood and he runs the game with it. Yeah, I, oh, you're going to see him killing Scout a lot. Uh, and it's just... It's such a cool, like, redemption story for Zeka too, because when he was in the LPL in his debut year, oh. you know, everyone was like, oh, oh, we don't really believe in them. After this, it was not even close, right? Oh, definitely not, right? And and here's the other thing about that. We opened the day by talking about EDG. Yes, defending world champions. Scout, the MVP of that world championship. And you just ran over him on your way to a semifinal. Yeah, and this is another fight that just goes, looks like is going to not go in DRX's favor. And then Zeka completely takes this entire fight over, allows Pioshek to go in, get the resets. This, in my opinion, is like the kind of back Here comes Isabelios. Here comes Isabelios. <laughs> <laughs> right he did, he did it on the game. Oh, oh. oh Sacrum's and baby. In, in this series, we also saw what happens if you don't give Zaka as champions, then Barrel gets his run of the mill, right? Because mm -hmm. I do think that w what DRX really showed here is also why they were able to get to their 10 out of 10 games in the qualifier, which is this team just has so much creativity and they just keep throwing really annoying strats at you. And like, if you if you, if you you deal with them, then you have Zeka on his comfort, you have Deft on his comfort, so there's no winning. I love underdogs so much, and I also love new picks and creativity and the willingness to use them. Will you guys entertain me for a moment? You go down uh, a, yeah, tri a, tri a, a trip with me? Let's do it. We're gonna go down a trip down memory lane. Deft and his experiences here at the World oh. Championship. Oh. Let's relive some of these all the way back to 2014 quarterfinal here against Cloud9. Uh, this guy has played on the razor's edge in way too many games, I think. At the Nexus again, my goodness. And that just even reminded me again, this series we just had was almost like a 4-1 win with the, with the in him Hold on. spot in it front of his continues. face. continues. <laughs> Let's go to a matchup against Fnatic where you will see a familiar name. The old Jace, baby. The old Jace bottom lane. Jace. That creativity <laughs> was always but there. Here we go, right here. Oh, God, my heart. Oh. I can't take this. Why are you doing this to Emily? Oh, Not God. Today. Oh, God. I sometimes still rewatch this series because I was in the <laughs> crowd with the KT fans when the uh, the base race happened, which isn't what we're seeing here, but when the base race happened, like, oh no, it is, okay, yes. never mind. Aww. Yeah, no one knew who won. They didn't flash yeah. it behind them. So like everyone was just, and I was in the crowd. Oh my God, this is <sighs> so good. Oh, by, and, that, that uh, was another like one or two well, almost. Imagine if, if DRX hadn't won today. Like it, again, how many Nexuses oh, are we going uh, to disappear <laughs> before Deft's eyes and like, uh, the reason why you see, I think, so many fans, even all the, a lot of the EDG fans in the audience today, like, this player is mm -hmm. just universally beloved. So I will it's... never be jealous of a person who has to live through that many, you know, heartbreaking moments, but for it to eventually find its way full circle and to end this way, again, that's where you get those tears on this stage in such immediacy as the best of five is one. And now, oh. now you can look back on that in-hip respawning and it could be oh a, a funny story, right? <laughs> if, it, if they had not been able to complete the reverse sweep, though, that's not funny. Did <laughs> you see the relief on his face, too? Wait. Oh, this is us all reacting to all of it. Like, oh. I don't even know I'm, what part of the game I'm we're in yet. I'm staring out over. at the thing, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Did you God. see the relief just, like, drain across, his, like, from his face? <laughs> His and, face and his uh, shoulders. And just I mean, like, like that, 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 uh, you already highlighted that interview, but again, I was thinking, like, I, okay, I'll be fine. I, I can hold it together. Right. And I sold death that I was like, nope, no, no, it's, it's done. So it's at the beginning over. of the day, 
Sorry. KT I have to. Die. I'm a KT I mean, fan. We showed it. KT, okay. did die for this, KT but... died for this several times. So and we could have theft here. <laughs> At the no. beginning oh, of the day, oh, Emily, oh, you brought us Yeah, in. the alpaca macarons. See, uh, yes, yeah, some macarons. And we decided that... Uh, in honor of Deft in making case it to a world semifinal, we're going to enjoy hey, the Cheers! Uh, yeah. Cheers <laughs> to the alpaca. I think they're two different flavors. Tango Chicago, Deft. Top, to, top and bottom. Sorry, my Korean this sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the whole thing because I probably have to talk more. That's okay. We can yeah. go. Oh, that's so good. Oh, really good. Mm. What a great time we've had here in New York. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. I'm a sub today. <laughs> He's it, from the B team. And it He's turned, on our desk. And it turned hey, into a reverse sweep, freaking inhib responding great series. That's true. Actually, the two quarterfinals you were on the desk for, Kobe, but we might <laughs> yeah. have to keep you on uh, to get more of that. A sale on the cast. A sale on the cast and Kobe, Kobe on the desk. Yeah. Look, I don't make the rules. Guaranteed banger. Okay? I don't make the rules. Apparently, that's just how it is. Uh, I want to thank the three of you for joining me on this wild ride. Thank you. I want to thank the Hulu Theater, Madison Square Garden, and all of New York City for playing such incredible hosts to us. Um, I Apparently, we have an interview. Is it ready? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we have an interview that's ready. Um, this is not a toss to an interview. So uh, I'll read this, and then we'll go to that interview. <laughs> nice. Uh... The World's 2022 Event Pass has launched, letting Ooh. fans around the world support their favorite <laughs> post-game interview. Thank you very much, Dash. Uh, I'm here to get a reaction from Mako as well. Unfortunately, not the end they would have hoped. Um, but Mako, first up, when it comes to this best of five, uh, you were so incredibly close. What is your perspective on um, why it just did not work out in this match? Actually,说到今天的比赛是非常非常接近的，但是最后非常遗憾没有能够获得胜利。所以说你可能觉得是哪里出现了一些问题，可能是最后没有能够最后赢下呢？ <laughs> 嗯，感觉还是比赛当中的一些问题吧。然后包括，其实来到纽约之后，训练的那个，嗯，状态其实也不特别好。然后大家也有可能就是陆陆续续的在生病嘛。然后也是在隔离训练，其实说就训练的状
you know, in like some interesting plays and some phenomenal plays. Like, I don't know. I had a really good time today. Like, Absolutely. I, I love yeah. this series. Oh, it, it was more, great. It more than delivered. It blew expectation out of the water. And it did? And I actually, I think it was, it was Piosik who said, right, um, for as much trials and tribulations as they had throughout the year, at the end of the day, if you win, doesn't matter. It doesn't there matter. You go. And they won. You're so they set. are on to the semifinals. With that, it's time for us to start saying our goodbyes here in New York. And to do that, we figure there's only one real way to do that. Daniel, oh, nice. you're also, we'd love for Wait. you to join us here Shout and celebrate Daniel, with, uh, yeah. with a slice of Get pizza, in here. if you will. Uh, Daniel. By the way, has been doing incredible work. Oh, this box is amazing. Right? I love it's this. So I feel so tall. Too, yeah. Daniel. Get in here. Uh, <laughs> Daniel get has some. been absolutely incredible oh, yeah. uh, out here uh, running the stage, getting our crowd right. The fans themselves here in New York. Thank you so much. Uh, Hulu Theater, what an incredible host uh, to the world's quarterfinals, New York City. I'm so glad I got to come back for a couple of weeks and enjoy my time here. So, with one bite of pizza, somebody else say something while I eat pizza so that nobody has to. Okay, I, I haven't taken a bite yet. I uh, miss I being on the East Coast. I, Thank you for allowing me to come here. Like, honestly, I, I get really homesick around this time, uh, and I'm from Boston, and it was amazing being here in New York. Thank yeah. you for a great League of Legends, always. I, I, I got to say, this is one of the first event with uh, with fans, and I don't know how you guys ever did it out because the atmosphere, like, in venue, every single team had fans throughout the entirety of the event. Um, the emotions, it's its so hard. Walking. Look, we can do it, but I tell you, nothing compares. Reluctantly. Nothing we compares to being live in the venue, celebrating the game that we all love so much, played at the absolute highest level, screaming fans, emotions left and right, big plays, misplays. We love it all because its uh, it's the kind of action we, we live for. You need a napkin? Absolutely. I can do that for you. Here you go. All righty, everybody. Thank you again so much for our brilliant quarterfinal. We have three more series to decide our world champion. From here, we pack up in New York. We head down to Atlanta to do those semifinals, best of fives, and then on to San Francisco. But on behalf of myself, the casters, the entire live broadcast crew, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in Atlanta next week for more Worlds 2022. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and be good to each other, all right?